Changed my life. I was in the trap OG. Serving out white. Think about it day to day. Day and night. Last night I had a dream. And it felt so right. And it felt so right. In the trap was serving me. Change, change, change. For work on triple B. Hip-hop Welcome to another episode of Hip Hop Hoops. I am your host, Anthony Igadero. I got my co-host with me. Mr. Woods is in the building. What up, what up, what up, what up? Let's go. Listen, man, we got a very, very, we got two guests today. Very special Come guests, on, man. man. Elijah Fisher and Rohan Fisher. The Fishers are in the building, the everybody. Are in the building. Come let's on go. now, let's go. Let's go. Listen, man, we're going to get right into it, man. I want to know from him, man, where'd your passion for basketball come from, man? Such a young age. Such a young age, bro. Dominating at a young age. Well, my passion for basketball just came from my family. Everyone around me was playing basketball. My father, my older brother, my uncles, aunt. So I really saw them playing, and then mm -hmm. I just took it from there. Like, it's actually a fun game to go play. And then once I saw that I started getting good at it, I started taking it seriously. Like, I can take this far. Mm -hmm. So he's a hooper. <laughs> at, at what age did you finally beat him? I want to know this. Oh, man. I need some <laughs> lies happening. Oh, Let's go. Let's I go. I need to know. The age I beat my pops, I was like 10. 10? Bro, I'm all yo. 10? <laughs> yo, we're the end this right now. Yeah, you're really, yeah, you going to commit to that right now? I'm going to commit to it. At For 10. Real, real. Oh, my. That, oh, at that grade, at grade five? Man, yeah. I'm still changing your diaper. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what's the what's the real line, answer? Bro. When did he really start beating you? Well, what was, you know, was the first time? I'm gonna tell you this right now, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember a time that he's ever beat me, but you know, you know, right now because you know I'm a little bit older. Cap. You know, you stop playing him. You stop playing him. <laughs> I stop playing him because I'm gonna hurt him. <laughs> because there's no way I'm gonna make him beat me. I'm gonna I'll scratch, bite, punch. I'll do all kind of different things. I ain't gonna he's not yeah. down like that. It's like, not man. happening. No, no, that ain't Pops ain't having it. No, I'm not having it at all. <laughs> But, but what I'm not having is the fact he's going to sit here and lie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to deal with that later on, bro. <laughs> Grow you up better than that, bro. Better than that, bro. <laughs> ten. <laughs> man, even say 12. Man, even say 15. Ten. Man, even say 10. ten. <laughs> and that's believable for anybody. Like, get out of here. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, sorry. I got it. You're talking about the 2K or something, man. <laughs> yeah. Video games. In, in video games? <laughs> it's all good, man. So Elijah, who did you pat it, pat it, pat your game after? Like, cause man, you're a bully on the court. You know what I mean. Who did you pat your game after? Pops. <laughs> he's looking, at, he's looking at you. <laughs> What's the question for me or you? <laughs> <laughs> the question for me or you? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. All right. Well, me personally, I don't really try to put my game towards anyone or view it near anyone. I try to be one of one, cause like mm -hmm. everyone is. Their own type of player, like right. like Kevin Durant, he's own his own type of player. Like people can be like him, but no one will be like him. He's one of one. Mm, He'll do things mm. that no one else can do. So Sex. I try to put myself in that type of category where I, like I'm one of one. I'm do things that people want to model themselves after, but can't right. do it. Let's go. So nice. who's who's your who's your favorite player? You mentioned Kevin Durant, but like Kevin Durant's your, my favorite player. There you go. Down. He's the best in the league, hands down. Hands yes, down. Sir. Okay, yes, sir. the Let's connect the connection is real. Eh? Yeah, yeah. You know, he knows mean? what it is. He knows <laughs> what it is. So when when he was young, growing up, what type of what are some of the things that you were teaching him? You know what I mean? Because he, I seen him first when he was in grade nine and he was just bullying guys. Mm. Like, man what, child. What were you doing <laughs> man in the child, backyard? Bro. Were you elbowing him? <laughs> was this like he got game, Jesus Shuttlesworth? <laughs> nah, 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 none of that, man. Like, yo, I got to credit that, man. You know, like, like you know, Hussein Bolt won the 100 meter dash, and, you know, he said, he put, it, put, it, put it on the yam. Yo, I, I was just going to say that. So yeah, yes. the yam, banana, dump, <laughs> yes. that shit. Hey, yes. Pumpkin, yes. Pumpkin, <laughs> chocho. Uh, like, uh. we got to like some good Caribbean food. Yeah. Like folks just think that, you know, you can just go there and just eat burgers. Can't and eat no nice. Mickey D's, man. No <laughs> Mickey D's over here. Those no Mickey D's that build that, man. That's This guy, that, yeah, that's straight provision right, right. there. Yeah, <laughs> folks don't even understand that. So when he was bullying guys, yo, it's a provision, man. Yeah. yeah I cooked it up for him and he knew it. There you go. There you go. Give me, I want to know your top five players in the league today. Right now? Top five, yeah. Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. He's number one for sure. Mm. Then I'll say Giannis. There you go. Okay. Giannis is up there. He's tough. 
After Giannis, I'll say... Uh, you got Curry in there? Curry's for sure in there. For sure, hands down. He's is, he, is he is he the MVP right now or KD's MVP? Kevin Durant. I don't care what he says. I don't care what he says. I agree. I disagree as I well, agree. but... Hold up. Sorry, Pops. We, 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 we can break it down right why, now. Why do you disagree? Um, well, it has to no, be... No, he disagrees because I agree. That's why he disagrees. <laughs> Nah, simple, as <laughs> yeah. simple as that. Simple as that. Steph Curry right now. I'm not, I'm in the big Steph Curry fan, but what he's doing right now, man, that man changed the game. Just like we talk about Will Chamberlain and who changed the game. Yo, this guy is changing the game, man. The he kids, is changing generations he too. Yeah. So if you think, Every... of, think of what he's really doing right now, mm-hmm. especially the season that he's having right now, you can't you can't even blink to leave that man open. I mean, even if you're so there, he crosses like, half court. It's done. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, but the reason why I'll say KD is because. Curry had, you know, a handful of bad games where he had 12 and 15. KD's lowest input output was only 19, and he scored 24, 25 plus through 26, 27 games. No, great point. So, great point. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? I think, you know, I think he's it's going to be based on record. He's though. playing to date. Well, yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn record, is number one in the East. And Golden State so, is number one so, in the West. So, so this is what I'm saying. So, and then they be, play Detroit tonight. I mean, he's going to get like 30. should be number one. Like, come on, <laughs> even without Kyrie. Act. All right, so that, that's three players. Are there, I need another two. Another two. KD, Giannis, Curry. KD, Giannis, Curry. Then I got to put... Yeah, be real, man. Gotta respect Bro- Bronny, man. Like, stop. Man. Bronny's top five still? Yeah, I gotta give man something, man. Like, They're not asking you a question. I'm tired of this. <laughs> uh, I'm not just started fan, and I'm tired but, of it. Bron Bron gets the Lifetime Achievement <laughs> Award, Pops. I don't not, know if he's the top five right now, bro. Uh, I'll let, achievement. No, no, let, let uh, him have it. It's his top five. Let him answer. It's not your top five. Like, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. Well, right now, I wouldn't say LeBron's top five. Not, not my. It's not the way he's playing. Not the, not the way the Lakers are playing right now. Mm, mm. So then I would say, like, I got KD, Giannis, Curry. I'll put Luka. And I don't even know. Mm. Yeah, fifth. That yeah, fifth spot go to anyone. Joel Embiid, Joker. Nah. No, so then nah. we gotta we gotta slide Brown in there, man. You gotta do something. Gotta you. slide Brown in there. <laughs> yeah, that's how I was telling yeah. boy. Don't know, man. <laughs> Just cause of that, it's not LeBron. Put Jokic <laughs> <Joker. laughs> So Elijah, last last year, your team was unable to have a season due to COVID. Yeah. How did that impact you, ranking wise, recruiting wise, all that? It impacted me a lot because like I'm used to playing like every other week. I'm going to the states playing or. Mm-hmm. I'm in Canada playing, so it really impacted me just as a mental state because I'm used to playing basketball every day. And then there's times where I, I had to find a way to get in the gym or just be outside, find an open net that's not taped up or anything to get That's shot. crazy. So, that was nuts. They were taping uh, the baskets, yeah. blocking them off. Blocking, blocking them, them off. off. I ain't seen nothing like that before. I didn't see that's that. Crazy. I didn't even see that with soccer nets. I didn't see that with anything but no, you're right. basketball nets. You're right. Right. I mean, I wasn't feeling that. Damn, they almost had to put a crate out there from the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> bringing it back. Yeah, you know right, we right. bringing it back. So, so was there ever any thought in your mind to transfer? Did you guys ever think about, okay, there's no season this year. We got to get him out of here. We got to Mount Verde, you know what I mean? Oak Hill. Was that ever a thought yeah. for you guys, man? There was a big thought in my mind of, if I should transfer, if I should do this and that, but then I really sat there and just said, this is a blessing in disguise. I have time to work on my craft and do what I need to do within the COVID. Mm. You know, we I gotta, you know, we really did give it some thought as to schools and programs. And I mean, he was applying pressure because he wanted to, wanted to hoop. But you know, as for me, as, as a father, there's a lot that goes into like raising a kid that's aside from basketball. And I know him being around me and me getting to kind of, you know, groom him a little bit so that when he gets out there, he has all the proper toolages to kind of survive in this world here. Right. Foundation. I kind of felt that him being with me was like the best thing for him as mm-hmm. a man. Cause I mean, basketball is just one aspect of it, but I mean, the character, that's a different aspect of it. And that's even the most important thing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, him being with me, that's, you know, and plus I want to teach him as well, too, that not because you're faced with adversities doesn't mean that you quit and kind of jump on the other side because, you you know, you got to be able to right. tough it out and kind of, you know, make something of it, man. Like, mm. And right now, I think it's going to make him into a tougher and a better person. Right, right. So so it's like when I, when I, he was number one 
and all the recruiting classes and and or his recruiting class, sorry, and um all these different you know platforms, ESPN, yeah. twenty four, what is that two four seven? All these guys had them at number one, and then his his ranking started to like dwindle. When when you guys seen how his ranking was dropping, was that something was like oh we got it or it just it just didn't matter like you know. You, out of my, out of sight, out, out of, of sight. mind. It's just basically, they you know, they haven't seen him, seen him in, a, you know, in a whole year. Don't worry. The next year, it's gonna go right back up. Was that the? Well, you know, you know what it was that, you know, we, we see, but you don't, you don't spend, you don't put too much attention on that because, you know, when you really look at in the NBA right now, all these guys that were ranked number one and whatnot. Sometimes, where are they right now? <laughs> like, look at Trevon Duvall, ranked number one in high school. He went was. to Duke. He's playing for the Honey Badgers. Yeah, like bro, like that was a tough the one. rankings. It matters to a degree to as a vehicle to kind of yeah. get you opportunities, but the end goal is what you put in the gym and your work ethics and what you do behind the scenes is going to show when the time comes. And we use that as a way to get in the gym mm. and, and, and kind of dive in deeper. The, his game is going to speak for itself. Man. Yeah, like mind. we work on shots here, and man. different things that we've been in the gym working on just to kind of add to his add to his bag. So I felt that even in the COVID time there, he benefited. It's just that a lot of folks didn't see like he has more of an all-round game where folks looked at him as a scorer. Mm. He's a passer. Well, he could play the point guard position now. Playmake. He, he could play playmake. He could do a lot. He could defend. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more that we worked into worked on because you know, all these rankings and all stuff, folks just get caught up in they do. one aspect of it, which is the scoring. That's mm -hmm. it. Nobody look at the other aspect, and I want it to be a complete, complete player, all around man. player, and make Two the way. right basketball decision yeah. at the right You're not time. that guy, pal. Trust Absolutely. me. Absolutely. It's scary. Yeah, <laughs> scary, scary hours are coming, man. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. So, how's the season going so far? Um, yeah, the season's going good. We, my Crestle team, are doing our thing, and I'm just getting to the player that I need to be just starting up. And I feel like the season's going well, and more scary things happen. Let's go, man. Any games, any games in the states? Well, this Friday coming up, we go into the city of Palms, it's a big tournament in Florida. Mm. That's so, crazy, mm. yes, sir. Yeah, it's a big tournament. So we gotta go there, have some fun, turn them do what we need to do. Is there is there any matchups you're looking forward to? Well, me personally, I'm not looking, looking for no matchups. I'm just waiting to play whoever. Cause yeah. I feel like anyone's a dead man walking. This could be a, <laughs> could be a five star. <laughs> Scary <show>. hours, man. <laughs> Scary you know, hours. When, when I was always playing, um, I always would see like, okay, we'd go to New Jersey, and then they'd be like, okay, that's the number one player yeah, in Jersey, yeah, yeah. and I'd be like, well, they don't know me yet, so <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. And then yeah. they're gonna know me. But yeah. if he does kill me, he's supposed to kill me anyway. So <laughs> that was my mindset. Like, oh well. So it's like a lose lose. Like I'm gonna, I'm, it's like a win win. I'm gonna win. win, -win. Regardless, regardless. He's supposed you know to what kill I mean? me. If, he, if I kill him, hey, I'm I'm the winner. So, so <laughs> I like that. Any any great any great battles with top players in the like in the past to now that stick out to you? Like some of those battles that you just had and you just dominated. But yeah, it was a, it was a good challenge. I don't even know, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I played a lot of games. Yeah. A lot. I don't even know. So no player kind of stuck out. You, a player that you're going to probably see in the Did future. Did you guys match up with Mikey? Like, didn't you guys, you guys were in Atlanta not too long ago? Yeah, but he didn't play, but that, that was he, was he was ducking. He's <laughs> ducking. <laughs> he was ducking. <laughs> you know what? No smoke, man. No smoke. He was ducking. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> He played. Uh, he played ever since. He no, had a broken finger, man. Bro. Yeah, oh, he had a broken yeah. finger. Broken yeah. finger. When, when the boy left, <laughs> he left the state, so went back home. I see, I see he started playing again. Dunks and all that. Nah, no mistake. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> I, I came. Uh, like, I mean, folks don't even notice, but I mean, you know, Mikey, Mikey side of the family, and us, we've been tight for a while, man. I mean, back okay. in the days. Yeah. It could be played for Team Thomas, which is Mikey's uh, father's team. Then mm. Mikey played mm. a little bit with grassroots as, as well, too. Okay, okay. okay. So we forged we forge, 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 yeah. forge yeah, a relationship yeah. there. Yeah. So yes, sir. every now and then when we see each other, it's you, you know what it is. Yeah. As much as it's competitive on the uh, on the court, you kind of know that you have that kind of relationship there, man. I damn nearly whooped his ass in the grocery store, remember? <laughs> 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 oh, man. So So how does it feel, man? You know, you're still young and you see these young guys, they look up to you. Like, you know, when a lot of my students at my school, they heard I was doing this interview. They're like, oh, my God. Yeah. Elijah, yeah. These guys are 15, 14. Yeah. You know, some of them are even 18. You know, they're older and they're like, oh, oh my God, you're, you're doing Elijah Fisher. How, how, how does that make you feel, man? Well, it's fun just knowing that 
me growing up that I always looked up to people and knowing that I'm a role model for a lot of kids growing up, coming up, knowing that they could be something I want to show them that doesn't matter what type of circumstances you're in, you can do whatever you want. Mm. Resilient. Resilient. How, how, how do you keep him level-headed, man? Yeah, he's <laughs> one of five boys in the house, and if he if he messes up, you're gonna get the same like what everybody else gets. <laughs> like I don't care, mom. Mom has a as a as a board there, and she will pull that out and whoop his ass when <laughs> she's ready. So he's There's like no one of the boys. In the future house <laughs> no, they're not they're not playing, <laughs> man. Like, everybody could say what they want to say outside on the streets, but you know, what I mean, once you once you're in the house, man, you're a kid. Mm. Bottom line, because you can no see how easy straight, it right. could be, like you know. With social Me- Memphis media is, is like, recruiting me, man. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> you know, see how easy it could be to just get, you know, yeah, but I, lose I control, know. man. Nah, but he hasn't achieved anything. I said, I've always let him know that, bro. And You're I, as tough as critic. I pay all the bills up in here, man. You, you <laughs> <pay>. <laughs> Basketball hasn't done nothing. It's not about that. Basketball. That's the line right there, eh? That's that line. Basketball has taken a lot more than my pocket and it hasn't put nothing in our pockets. Yeah. So you haven't done nothing as yet. So you have no real say right now. Yeah. The yeah. grind continues. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so so what, what kind of advice did you have for these young guys, man? Have fun. Have a lot of fun. Cause most important. Most yeah, important man. things have fun. Cause I feel like if you view something that's like it's a nine to five, you have to put your full passion into it. You're just going to mm-hmm. go and wait for the day to be done and then go sit down <laughs> like and be girl. like, Ugh, Ugh. I'm tired. And you wake up the next morning like, here we go again with this and that. But if you're having fun, you're going to be energized. want to wake up to go do it. You want to hurry up and go do it. You're going to start your day early to go do it. Facts. Gotcha. I gotcha. Facts, man. Prince of the North documentary, man. Let's talk about it, man. Ooh. How'd that whole thing happen, man? Um, le- the director, Ryan, he uh, reached out to us about the opportunity and um, thought it was a great opportunity for him to kind of tell his story a bit. Dope, um, dope stuff. They, they were they were with us for, man, it seemed like they were with us for like almost two years <laughs> down there. You could see- Just in following the, in, you guys. Yeah, you could see in the <laughs> video where Elijah, when he started off, you see his features change just to show you how- yeah long they were with us but it was good to kind of show his story on on, on, on that side there mm. and uh, we we're just glad to kind of get it out there man it was good i think i think it's important as a player for people to know you because i i, I find it that you know i was i was pretty nasty on the court i used to talk a lot of trash yeah. you're garbage <laughs> you know you can't check me you know, other things I won't say now, but it's <laughs> pretty disrespectful on the court. It's very right? disrespectful. So know. people would think, okay, that's that's Iggy, man. Iggy's just a jerk. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that guy. But when they actually hung out with me or got to know, you. Got to know me, they're like, nah, he ain't like that. So so do you guys have that issue, man? Let, let, let's, let's talk about that. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. I think we have that. Definitely have that issue. Um, because the circle is tight. Yeah. Girl, and you're right. a father. This is your boy. You're not gonna let just any riffraff no. pull up. You know, <laughs> nah, you are gonna keep that circle tight. So nah. I think I find it as very people are upset that they can't get in that circle. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they want to try to paint a picture instead of actually sitting down and getting to know the kid. Mm-hmm. They want to paint that picture and then push that narrative. Right. Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a jerk. That false narrative. You know? it, 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 keep it, it, it is, separate. It is false because when you look at a kid off the court. Off the court, I could tell you, you know, he's exactly how who, who mom and I groomed to be, which mm. is respectful. Um, he's going to be kind. He's not going to, you know, we grow him, groom up a biblical. So you'll see him post a lot of. Uh, I do. I see that stuff. A lot yeah. of scriptures. He does post like that. Because it's, it's just his foundation. It's just who he is. Mm. Um, but on the court, he's ferocious. And I wouldn't have it a, I wouldn't have it any other way, man. Because in, in between those four or four lines, we've always said to him, hey, it's war. It is. <laughs> Let's get it. It is at the end of the day. It is. But I remember times when he used to say to me, like, Pops, you got to get guys on my team who are, who are soldiers. Because I feel yeah. like the guys that I have, they don't have my back. I want to be able to go to war and know that these guys have my back. If they don't have my back, they can't be on the team. Mm. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh, it is, it's real. <laughs> it's real. Like, it's, it's true, though. Yeah, yeah. Right. I kind of find it that is like, you know, if you if you don't, if you're not nasty on the court, they call you soft. Yes. Right. You know, oh, he's he, you know, he doesn't really say much. Like Andrew Wiggins has been averaging 19 his whole career, damn near in the right. NBA. Yeah. You know, they call him soft because he doesn't say nothing. So all star numbers, but, 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 but he does it, But he does his thing. 
But now if you say something, oh, he's just so, man, look how he talks. Yeah, yeah. You know, Boogie Cousins, he talks a bunch of trash and then they think he's a jerk. But if you, you know, you meet him, you know, you'll find out that he's not that kind of guy. He's he's, he's actually a good guy. You know what I mean? So it's like, you guys want it both ways, which I don't like, you know? It's tough. I I don't don't, don't like that. But you know, on the court too, there's a lot of things that I feel that a lot of people don't necessarily get to see. They get to maybe see um, the reaction side on the court, which... I mean, you're a hooper, man. When you're a hooper, if somebody talk trash to you, you're gonna you're gonna talk back trash and just you're gonna get them. It's, it's the game. But I love that part of the game. It Sheesh. is. But sometimes with him, one thing I've um, noticed with him, and I'm kind of giving away a secret here, is if you let him be and don't talk to him, you're probably gonna get a normal kid like average. <laughs> right. But if you start talking to him, he's gonna turn up. You're gonna wake you know? up that line. So you're gonna wake up that line. So let let sleep the line sleep. <laughs> let him sleep, and, please. And it doesn't matter if it's um a opponent that he's playing, because I find that sometimes even have the coaches that say thing to and I'm, and I mean you're trying to get a you're trying to get an edge. Yeah, right. Trying to do whatever you can do to get your team going. So you may think that talking trash to the kid is the right thing, but when the kid go off on you, well, you gotta have to hug it. <laughs> you gotta hug that. Well look at it is trust a kid to be a kid. Yeah. Yeah. If he's a kid, trust that a kid's going to behave and not be mature enough as an adult to contain those, what he says to you. Mm. So if you say something, he's going to say something back to you. It might be nasty, but you're an adult. You should know how to take it. If you shouldn't poke it. If you poke it, then you should be able to receive it. Yes. But then once the game is done, if the kid is not jiving about and the kid's good, you should be good because you're the adult. But if you're carrying it on and then saying the kid is this and that and you're an adult, yeah. then you need to check yourself. That means the kid is more mature than you. And that's just sad that because you're hard. supposed to be passing something down to the kid because the kid is supposed to behave that way because he's not fully mature. Mm-hmm. But you as an adult, you're, supposed, you're mature. You know better. And you right. should know better and do better. But Facts. I find that these these um, coaches sometimes are not, and adults, <laughs> they, they want the kid to do what they can't do, which right. is just so wrong. Facts. That's wrong. Right? Yeah, the the foundation, man. Elijah Fisher Foundation, man. Big right there. Let, let let's talk about this, man. Well, I started the foundation just by, I really sat down and was like, I need to do something more than just going to soup kitchens, going to little toy drives and giving back. I want to do something bigger, mm. something that that's has, crazy. That's big. Something that has like my name on it that people know that it's me giving back. That I want to genuinely give back at a young age because I've always been doing this since I was like twelve years old, going to soup kitchens going to little toy drives, giving back to kids. So I was like, let me do something so everybody knows it's me and do something big. Mm-hmm. And that's amazing, though. And this is another side that these guys won't see because you guys are not mm-hmm. recording it. You guys are not putting on Instagram and all that other stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Going to toy drives and, you know, giving away stuff. They don't see that part, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, would you still think of him the same way if you, you knew that part about him? So it's that's important true. to... You know, get to know people get to before know you, people, man. you judge them or whatever, a book how they are on the man. court. Fair. I want my kid to be nasty on the court. Bottom I don't line. want him to be. Talk <laughs> trash. I don't care. Talk trash. That's the part of the game. You're going That's to, what I did. It's so. a war thing, man. It's a but war I don't, I don't want to, But I don't want him to be, I don't want my kid to be normal. Mm. If you're normal, you get a normal job out there. But no. sometimes the guys were, they call them, they say different. Oh, that guy is that. This guy is that. Yeah, those are those those are the ones that are running big time businesses out there because they're different. <laughs> bro, that's what I want for my son. I want him to be different. I want him to be running with everybody in the pack. No, do something different, bro. Yep. If you want to be that dog on the court, be that dog. If everybody wants to be soft, let them be soft. But if this is what you're passionate about, and this is where the good Lord has your position and this is what he wants you to do, mm. then be about it. Be that dog. Be the top guy about it. And sometimes the top guys, they're gonna talk trash. <laughs> they're gonna do certain things to kind of get you off your game, yeah, and if yeah, you yeah. can't handle it, that's on Bottom you. Line. That's on you. That's that's, that's the mental piece you. of the game too, man. Yeah, it is. Day, man. If mentally you can't handle it, then maybe you shouldn't be in the kitchen, bro. Facts. Facts. <laughs> Tops. Tell him. Tell him, pops. So I'm just telling you, man. Yeah. I don't want to take away that side of his game because I think that side of his game is special. It's what's made him uh, who he is and giving him that drive. And I know a lot of folks kind of just want him to tone it down and do that, bro. Come on, man. You're not telling Michael Jordan to tone it down. You saw Absolutely what he did not. in the last dance. Man, you heard his story, man. He ain't toning that down. And I'm pretty Toned sure LeBron, 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 LeBron has, a, has a bit of it in him. But I mean, no, they, they said, KG said, uh, LeBron talks a lot of trash. No? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got him, man. And that's part of the game. At the end yeah. of the day, man, you got to be mentally tough. 
let the man be. Let him be in the Commonwealth. He's a Canadian. He's representing his uh, country. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel that we all need to kind of gather around and kind of support our ballers that are coming up right now. As a collective. As a collective. Yeah, we have to, man. It's us against the world, man. Let's, Literally. Let's be for us. We can't be us against us. Yeah. With the world against us. It's exactly. too much pressure for too much. one to handle. Yeah. Like, support our own brand. You can't wait until... You know, you have all these doubts in him and doubting him all, doubting them all the way. And when they make it, and all of a sudden you want to support. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make any it sense. Like that, support bro. and kind of help them From to the jump. get to where they need to be. Absolutely. And then you can say that you were around supporting the cause right through, but you can't just kind of try to tear it down. And then when they make it, you want to jump ship. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't like that at all. Yeah. Um, Playing for your, for your, for your country, man. How was that? That was big. How was that right experience, there. man? That was I, watched a, I watched a little bit. Hell yeah. <laughs> It was a great experience. It was a different atmosphere than what I'm used to. Were you, were you the youngest player? Was he the youngest player there? Yeah. I yeah. believe so. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> it was just different. Like, I'm used to always being the main focal point, and it was just a different type of basketball. It was like, I'm used to these different type of calls that I'm used to getting. Like, if I'm like I'm able to pump fake, step into them, and try to foul, but down there, they're more aggressive. Like, your, your referee are more loose with, with the whistle. So it was just... Very different, and I learned a lot of things playing down there. Mm -hmm. A lot of different rules, a lot of different way, the different way to play the game, like different cuts and everything to get me open, help me as a basketball player. And I realized that doing the little things are more important than getting like a big dunk, like getting a steal and then making a layup or getting a steal or getting right. a rebound is way more important than just getting a dunk and then that's it for the game. Right. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Serviceable, nice, man. Nice. No. Serviceable player, man. Serviceable Absolutely. player, definitely. I love it. We're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this thing, man. Um, rapid questions Let's with do you, it. man. <laughs> I want you to I want you to answer some of these, man. <laughs> for me or pops? No, for, you, for, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. He like, spoke. He spoke hey. enough, man. I want you to talk more. Thanks for establishing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a side on this one. <laughs> uh, little baby or the baby? Little baby. Little That's baby. It. Little baby. <laughs> so CLB or Donda? CLB. Let's go. Gunna or Young Thug? Young Thug. Mm. Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole? J. Cole. Mm. Oh, okay. Future or Gucci Man? Future. Yeah. Little Dirk or G. Herbo? That's tough. That's tough. Mm. <laughs> pass, pass. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta answer. You gotta answer. We need one. We need one. He... Uh, Little Dirk. Uh, Little Dirk. Okay. okay. Yo, Gotti or Money Bag? Yo. Money Bag. Mm. That's tough. NBA Young Boy or Fredro Bang? NBA Young Boy. Okay. Mm. Roddy Rich or Blueface? Roddy. Roddy. Kodak Black or Jat Boy? Kodak. Mm. Travis Scott or Kevin Gates? <laughs> Travis Scott. <laughs> oh, this. All right, I'm going to bring it to basketball for We're this basketball. one right here. Switching okay. Basketball. And I really want to hear your answer on this one. Okay. <laughs> it's tough right here. It's not tough. I think it's not tough. But anyway, Kyrie or Curry? Curry. Why? Curry. Kyrie is Curry's kryptonite. I personally feel that. Every time they match up, Kyrie Curry. gives him the business. Curry, hands this, is the, this is the Curry, first time I ever down. see you talking good about Kyrie, man. Kyrie, listen, man. Curry, Curry hands down. Hands down. I'm going to give it to you. I don't care what anybody says, Curry. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you, man. LeBron <laughs> or Jordan? <laughs> Jordan. Okay. My guy. Katie okay, or Giannis? Katie, hands down. Katie or Giannis? Katie. Oh. Giannis is scared to play him. Good point. T tell Good him. Point. Facts. But, tell him what but, he did but, in the playoffs last year. Curry's not scared to guard Kyrie? Hold, hold on. Okay, okay, wait, my bad. Talk about Kevin Durant right now. Don't change your topic. My bad, my bad. Don't change your topic. Let him know, please. Let him know. Because whenever Giannis is on KD, what happens? As he jumps. He jumps. He doesn't want no smoke. That's why they had put PJ on him. But but Giannis But Giannis did give him, what, 40? What did KD give him? Give his whole team? 49, 17, and 11. Remember that. Who got the win? Come on. Who won the chip? He had... A James Harden oh, on one man. leg. Don't do that. We know what happens when Kyrie Listen. was there. They were beating the Bucks by 50. And Facts. Giannis was scratching his head every game. Facts. That's a very good He's point. The point. He's the best player in the world. He's the best player in the world. He's the best player in the world. No, Facts. that's a very good point. Very Next good question. Point. Right? <laughs> Next Let's question. go. Let's go. Next Joker <laughs> or Embiid? It's a tough one. Joker. Okay. Woo. I'm going to bring some Canadian content. I need to hear All this right? one. I need to hear this one. Jamal Murray. Or Shay, Shay, <sighs> who you got? Who you got, Roman? Who you got? You know, I I got. Gosh, I love Shay though, man. <laughs> I, I like Shay's Shea. a problem. Shay's a problem. I, I like Shay, but you see, Ooh. um, Jamal Murray and just what his father kind of instilled in him in the mental toughness, man. That boy is tough. I've seen He's him tough. at levels, I, done some stuff at levels that I had to give him. But I like Shay. 
but Murray got the got the edge. I'm saying Shea, he gonna be an All Star this year. Watch. Mm. Shea's mm. tough. Man. Well, we'll that, see. Yeah, Hopefully, that's, that's Jamal hard Murray that's comes a hard back one. from that, that that injury. I like that six, five, come back six, six point guard, uh, but, man. But bro, look 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 at the matchup with him and Donovan Mitchell, man. They, when they went back, and <laughs> yeah, forth, that was man. legendary. Getting fifty balls, getting that fifty balls. Legendary. Yeah, but, but but Murray's been doing it from time, man. Before you before before you even hit the big stage like that, you know that that kid was tough and destined for something special. Well, yeah. Yes, sir. He's tough. So, he is tough. Shout out to his pops, man. His pops did his thing. Yes, sir. Kawhi or Luca? Kawhi. Mm. You see what? that look? Man, like, easy, what? Like, what? What? <laughs> he gave us a championship, bro. Like, he oh, that. what Luca do for us? What, man? And, and yo, 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 time out. Luca's not playing that well this year. He looks out of shape, He's bro. A He's, He's a like, burger way out of the league, bro. Really, yo. Out of shape, bro. Huka, huka bars and all that. You better calm down, <laughs> Huka Donchick. No, but, hey, <laughs> but if, he's, if he's doing that and giving man buckets, he's That's scary, special. bro. That's, that's scary. Right. That is scary. Out of shape. That is scary. Out of shape like giving buckets, he's pretty good. <laughs> all right. Bring back to the point guards. Lillard or CP3? CP3. Point really? God. Point yes. God. Come on. Let's go. What type of point guard are you looking at? Come on. I like I like scoring guards. I man. need a facilitator. I need I a like passing guard. guard. I'm like, guard, bottom line. You need a scoring guard. Okay, who would I rather? Okay, I'd rather probably play with a passer too. Come on. CP3 makes you look good. Yeah, get you, you involved. And he'll get buckets, and understand, and understand, he'll get buckets too. He's a mid range king, man. Come okay, on, stop. man. CP3. CP3 is his guy. That's the guy. That's the guy. out of you. Evan Mobley or Scotty Barnes? Scotty Barnes. Come on. Rookie of the year, baby. Thank Scott, you. Scotty Barnes you know does everything. Scottie? Everything. Scottie does everything. Yeah, but hold on. Is this... Not, are we really debating this? It's Scotty Barnes, bro. Really? He does Wait, everything. He, I'm talking about... And he's on our home team, Raptors. Come and on. Looking, I right? know. I... This, Wait, so on, you're man. saying Evan Mobley? I wanted, Evan I wanted Mobley. Evan Mobley because I know we needed that that position. Nah, man. Right? Scott, Scotty Barnes. But I'm saying... What? If you look, if you look, look where Scotty Cleveland Barnes is right now. Scotty Barnes does everything. I know, I know he does. does everything. I, I hold up. Hear what I'm going to say. What girl. is wrong with this guy? Here, here, hold <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Hold what on. What is wrong hold with up. you? Hey, look what I'm going to say. Came up for a second. That's what I'm going to say. Let's hear his rubbish. Let me hear you. Look, look. Take it a minute. He averages more points and more rebounds and okay. more blocks. Okay. His team is 17 and, and or 17 and, and 13 or 17 and 14 right now. Yeah. Okay. They, they're on a three-game winning streak. They're in the playoff contention. Okay, that's good. We are not even sniffing the playoffs right that, now. That's nice. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. But there's, there's a lot of, like, let me say it now, with Cleveland, do they have Who more thought of, Cleveland would have been in the playoff do, race No, right but now? do they have more of the weight on Evan Mobley in Cleveland? Like, not he's at the all. one carrying it? No. 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 So, but Collins if you look at the Raptors right Scott, now, no. most games, it's Scotty Barnes when he brings the energy, and his energy is different. And his energy is different. Up his energy is up like, And he yeah. loves, and guess what? He wants to be here. That's yeah. important. He loves being here. That's important. And he's working hard and he's playing hard. He plays on the defensive end. He does everything. I like Scotty, man. Per per perimeter. And he's a freak. Look at his arm length. So when, when they drafted him, but and yeah. they didn't draft uh what's yeah. the guard's name? Jalen Suggs. Yeah. Were, yeah. Did, did you kind of did you kind of look at that like, <laughs> I, huh? I, I, what are they doing? Or I, did you say, yeah? I'm, 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 I'm be honest. So you're be honest. Right. <laughs> at first I was like, honestly, I was, I was like, what the hell was I we doing? Sucks, bro? Yeah. I thought we were getting sucks, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was sucks, but I'm glad. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. glad, man. Man. I'm glad, glad here, we got Scotty. Trust in Masai, man. I'm glad you let us down. Masai, we trust. Masai, we trust. You know it. All right. Let's go to the two guards a bit. Booker or Harden? Harden. You're going to go Harden. Yeah. Even with his... I mean, he's coming off the hamstring injury. Wait, this is not Harden that we know, man. We know the real James This is Harden. a point guard Harden we're seeing right now. Yeah. If we're talking about Harden I know, I'm yeah. saying Harden. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Jason Tatum or Paul George? No, hold up. We didn't get... You, what, who you say? Booker or... Booker or Harden? You going Harden? Harden not late. Okay. All day. Jason Tatum, Paul George? Paul George. It's a tough one, man. It's a tough one, but that depends on which Paul George you're getting, man. Like mm. Pandemic P. Or you pa not Pandemic P. Not Pandemic P. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Paul, Paul George. Paul okay. George. Okay. And you, okay, Pops, this is the last question right here for both you guys. Um, you were talking about provisions earlier. Oh, so let's, yeah. let's bring it to that for a second. Curry chicken or curry goat? <laughs> Pass. We got him. We got him. We uh, got him. Hey, I don't know about you, but not like a good curry goat. Ah, curry goat all day. <laughs> all day. Get the chicken. I'm a chicken. <laughs> don't talk about Yo, curry goat, Bridget. No, that's that's not the last question. We got one more. Okay. One more question. Me and him. I'm from I'm from Mississauga. From, I'm, I'm from, representing Jane and Finch, from Jane and Finch all day. 
Which area produces the best basketball players? Let me have it. I, I need to know. You've been around the game for a long time. Been around for a minute. You've seen these guys come and go. I know, man, but... Denim Brown. <laughs> Durham. 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 End of discussion, Durham. You said Durham. 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 Durham's coming. Durham's coming. Durham's coming. They're 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 coming. Jaden Finch, though, baby. Durham. End of discussion. Listen, we don't have enough time to talk about... So, Durham. End of discussion. Shout out Durham. I'm riding with him, Shout out Durham. Shout out Durham. Shout out Durham. Shout out Durham. Let's all agree on Durham. But I'm just telling you... Venom was a bucket, and he just covers for everything that... Bottom line. Because that, 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 that hill Denim gets... Was just up. That slope gets crazy after Denim, yeah, you know? Like Denim just, just, nah, there's a lot more. He just, don't, he just don't know about it. Denim, okay. Denim's still holding the flag, bro. Yeah. Straight and up. it's I'm a saying. grit, too, man. Like, bro, like, you guys have to come down, like, to the Finch side to get the grit, man. Like, the grit. Come on, man. Because every time I grit, watch bro. you play... You have that Finch heart. No, 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 no. We ain't doing that. We're not doing that. Everybody says that a lot. You just man, see it. You feel it. The, man, the it. man never grew up in Jane and Finch. You've talked to me, talk, but he's a Finch head. Bro, you never grew up in Jane and Finch, man. Never, never. Come, Durham, come on, man. Durham. Come on. He's Durham, Durham all no, no. day, but you got he that Finch heart. You're bringing that. He's like, he sprinkled the little Finch. No, no, no. We ain't doing that. He ain't got no sprinkles of Finch No, but bro, let me ask you a question. Did you end up in Falstaff? I hooped over there. Yeah. Okay, bro. It's all set, man. We're close to you. Coming on the hood to hoop, man, bro. We're just done. What are we <laughs> yeah, talking about? But, but, but Finch is way down the street than Falstaff. Oh, Denim Brown what? is from Falstaff. We ain't saying way, way down the street. Yeah, way, I'm way close down. enough, bro. I drop, close enough. No, I, drop no, enough no, no. I drop enough kids no. home to know that, that it's close enough, man. Yeah, Come but on, he man. can't. You, you ain't just in a walk in Falstaff. Like, you ain't doing that. So, so don't, 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 don't do that. Man, I'm more of a Stanley Community Center type of guy yes. before Falstaff yes. was even a yes. thing. Yes, yes, yes. It's when Stanley closed down, everybody's like going to Falstaff. Denim like, Brown is Falstaff's finest. He, he was Big born guy. in Falstaff. He, he said he grew up. Grade five, he got the tape. Grade five, he came to came to Finch. I played it for her many times. It's she okay, man. It. It's okay. What did he, he say? He, he learned how to play say? basketball in Falstaff. No, he didn't. Anyways, man. Anyways. Anyways. Finch <laughs> finest. Jane and Finch, thank you. Yeah, you got guys. the fishes yeah. in the building. Yes, Appreciate sir. Appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate Elijah, guys, keep building. Man. Keep growing. Yes, sir. I'm a fan. I can't wait to see you. Scary hours. We need to come to the game, Scary man. Scary hours. Please let us know when that game is. We, 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 we got to sure, be there. Man. We got to be there. Yes, sir. For sure. 100%, man. Scary hours are coming, Thank you for joining us, guys. We appreciate it, man. Listen, go subscribe. Yup. We're hip hop YouTube. YouTubes, man. Yes. YouTube, Instagram, Spotify. We're everywhere, man. Support it. Hip hop yes, meets hoops. We're hip hop meets hoops. We're out. Let's go. Let's go. Think about it day to day, day and night. Last night I had a dream, and it felt so right. You don't finch all day, bro. Thank you, Thank you, Sorry, thank you, man.